one. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all have had a good week so far and are looking forward... Excuse me. And are looking forward to your weekend. Um, and if you're not, I hope things get okay, you know? Um, anyway, before we get properly back into Dishonored, um, <clears throat> I just want to quickly briefly take a moment and be like hey check this stuff out link, link tree uh where you can find my socials youtube etc uh youtube where you can uh oops uh youtube where you can uh shoot what's it called um watch all my vods um hold on sorry uh, Epic Games just notified me of a game that I want being free on Epic, so I'm gonna grab that just real quick. All right, sorry. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, Linktree, socials, YouTube, where you can catch my vods after I stream them, a week after I stream them for free. Um, Linktree. Uh, also had uh actually if you're watching this on youtube please like subscribe and all of that helps out with the algorithm um um um, um what else is in my link tree link tree if you're watching this on youtube and you want to watch me live you can absolutely do that just you know do it on um the link is in that link tree as well um what else is in there I have other recommendations for streamers, um, ones I follow and whatnot. Um, I think of it. What else is in there? There's a lot in there. There's just a lot in there. You should also check out my Patreon, uh, where you can support me without having to go through the mess of YouTube and Twitch and all that. Um, but only if you want to. No big deal. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, we're going to be getting back into Dishonored here. In just one second. Um, want to make sure that I can't think of any other things I want to talk about before we do. No. Okay. Let's get started. Hidden in, a, in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with uh, meet with the loyalists' inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. We have already done that for the most part. Um, all right, so. The silver speaking whispers, the drunk bell. Academy of Natural Philosophy. Uh, at the Academy of Natural, Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pendithian continent as a place of wonder where all life has entwined and blossomed across the aeons, increasing a vibrant ecology. Oh, we, we've already read that, right. Wallace can cook, yes, but the way he talks to us, you'd think he was a lord himself. I'd work for you for a year for free if you manage to get that lord regent off the throne. None of the shops are open, all the business has dried up, and most people can't even walk the streets. That man's a blight on the city. The other servants don't like her. Oh no. Work is never done for the lowly servant. Fortunes have been won here, and lives have been lost. Her servant wages will not be enough to fix her father's debts. For all the hard work, there is little reward for her. If she lives until tomorrow, her day off, she will be mauled by reapers and left for dead. Do not pity the servant. There is pride in the job well done. 
There is not a day that goes by she does not consider taking her own life. The house help is treated poorly, but there are worse ways to earn a coin. The pain in her back is constant. Nothing helps. Work is never done for the lowly servant. For all the hard work, there is little reward for her. Do not pity the servant. There is pride in a job well done. Second solution. Okay, we we've read that one. The old man played a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. The hounds were the first to find him. They are burning whales. Somewhere in the basements below, hound kills hound, and money changes hands. Such laughter, and then they're singing the old songs. The hound pits. Linking arms. But that was from a happier time. Deals are made here, sometimes under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of the night. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river, men or hound. They all go in. They top off the wine with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from cellars. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands, and of your heart. Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. He is Piero Joplin. Even now, he visualizes the next intervention. Astonishing. I wish you could see it, too. Poor Piero. His elixirs have cured so much for so many, but they cannot cure his great fevers. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes more than once. Okay, creeper. Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. So this man's a creeper. Got it. <clears throat> Where does this go? Around the building, huh? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Anybody in here? No. I 
Havelock stopped in earlier, but I forgot what he wanted. He's waiting to see you, I believe. What can I do for you? Probably don't have enough to upgrade anything. Um, oh, I do actually. Two thousand coins. Okay. Um, I could buy a rune off of him. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. Rewire tool allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. Sure. Rewired walls of lights, arc pylons, and watchtowers will harm your enemies instead of you, all, while rewired alarms will be fully disabled. Okay. Your spiritual remedy. Uh, I have four. I'm good on that. Uh, grenade. I'll buy one. Ring razor. Trap can be attached to any surface uh, by aiming at it and pressing the right click. <clears throat> It will be triggered as an enemy approaches it, throwing up a cloud of shrapnel. Okay. Bullets. One short. I'm good on ammo, I think. Upgrades. All right. Uh, let's see here. Bone charm capacity. Ring razor capacity. Grenade. Bolt. 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 Uh, no. Two range. Uh, I have 800. I'll do this one. There we go. All right. What can I do for you? All right. my range on this I think okay so pretty close all right That's Lydia. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, <clears throat> an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hauptkiss. Okay, good to know. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but nothing quite like yours. Keep your eye out for Martin. I need him back here if we're going to pull this off. 
High Overseer Campbell tricked and bullied his way into power. The man is completely clear. The City Watch and the Overseers can't stand each other. The military doesn't mix well with a bunch of religious fanatics. You might be able to use that. Nervous? I wouldn't be. Tonight is the beginning of a new life for you. But you're killing for a just endeavor. Remember that. High Overseer Campbell is a bastard, and we've got to find Emily. The Overseers are a strange bunch, completely obsessed with the Seven Strictures and hunting down heresy. I don't know if I believe in all that witchcraft bunk, but I saw some odd things at sea. Okay, so he's finally done. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. I believe it. He has killed whales and men for profit and in pleasure. He has the bloodlust. He tried to seize control of the military after the Empress. After she. The Empress was murdered. Look at him. Admiral Havelock grows restless on land. There was a younger brother, and an artist, sensitive, soft, taken at nine by a fever. Havelock loved him truly. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. Cecilia. Good day, Master Corvo. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes, and I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. I hope the attic's to your liking. I've slept there myself on summer nights. I went and knocked on the front door a few nights ago for a joke. No one thought it was funny. I'd have thought it was fucking hilarious. My sister lost a tooth last month fighting off some officer from the city watch. The sooner the Lord Regent is gone, the better I say. Just you wait. I'll own this place one day. I've dreamed it. The, the conspirators, conspirators have found a safe home here. here. They, they take great care that they are not followed. She, she hides, hides her hands. hands. They, they are raw and scarred, scarred from the washing. The common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. There is nothing common about the work she does every day. All she wants is to lay herself down in the middle of a common street and await death. I mean, that's a mood. The fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She stars so that her children can have bread. The common folk, simple-minded, selfish, but they can be kind. She has only one dress and wears it to tatters. The common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. If only she had a coin for every time she stubbed her toe. The ale here is sweet with honey. To hide the taste of the river brine. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great grandfather took a Sakonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, this story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. There's a little Tivian blood in the Pendleton line. It's the worst anyone could say about them. I think it's come out in the brothers just a little bit. My lord Trevor's pure as the Empress herself, <coughs> I'm happy to say. 
The Pendletons are quite wealthy, but they were noble long before that. You've heard rumors about the Pendleton mines being worked by slaves, I suppose. Never been there myself, and I refuse to believe it. They say Custis Pendleton made an improper remark to the Empress once, and you ejected him from a state dinner before asking who he was. Well done, I say. This plague has ruined the social season for all of us. He spies on his neighbors, and they reports to the overseers. Oh, really? Traitor. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. He always eats very well, even as his wife and child grow thin. Opposite of Lydia. It is in the common air that the Abbey finds its most faithful. He steals from his business partner a little every day. Some men can still find work along the oh. waterfront. He didn't tend to that cut, and now it festers. The man is only as common as his dreams. All that he had was lost in the flood. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. He used to admire the overseers. Now he fears them. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. So here's the attic, back to where we were, okay. Now, Samuel down there. Oh, Cor Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. <coughs> I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer, that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me, but my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them, Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I like her her gentle phrasing. But this is the woman who, uh... Asshole. Creeper. Uh, spies on. She is Callista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend herself against, against the treacherous city. city. She and her uncle, the last of the Kurnow family. She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she is a woman. Give me just a second. I overheard the Admiral at breakfast talking about the overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't know too much about what you people are doing. Yeah, you're kind of right there, Ballista. Such sadness. She, she is Ballista Kernow. She, she has learned, learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. She and her uncle, the last of the Kernow family. She, she dreams of freedom, 
and then the decks of the whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she is a woman. Such sadness. She is Callista Kerr now. Okay. She has learned to defend herself. How about we put the gun away? I forget what's down here. We go to our next destination. That's not what I wanted. There we go. This is what I want. <coughs> All right. Let's see here. I'm just exploring. I know that it wants me to go over there, but... Hmm. Okay. I have nothing else. To Samuel, we go. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. When you want to shut out, just give the word. The boatman has a good heart and respects you. I'm ready when you are, sir. Samuel is a simple man, but he knows the good of Red Haven and all its tributaries, down to the smallest I'm at your service. He has many scars, some from the phlegm of the river crests, some I look forward to my adventures to be certain. Deep ocean. Samuel was once eager to hear Havelock's stories of the sea. But perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Ready to go? Just give the signal. To the distillery's district. To the distillery! <clears throat> High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally of the Lord Regent. Campbell, uh, Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalist, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Also, Phyllis's father, or uncle. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Braggs. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. All right. City Watch holds Clavering Boulevard beyond the first wall of light. The Bottle Street gang controls the side streets around Clavering Boulevard. Granny Rags lives in an apartment at the far end of Endoria Street. 
High Overseer Campbell leads the cities. Uh, we read that. Okay. Pass. Okay. There's a rune, a bone charm, a rune, bone charm, and a rune. Oh, that reminds me. Bone charms. Um. Forget how to level up. Okay, I have two, I have a rune. I think what I wanted was see useful objects and security system through walls as well. Maybe. I might want to upgrade Blink. Blink would take three, Dark Vision would take two, two for Bloodthirsty, which. Mm. Okay. The duel of Hadesia has come to the sea. The river rushed in the barrier brook. All district went dark. I will be glad to rest. At the academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. Why am I so cold? The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. What have you done to me? My father had golden hair. My mother had hair like ash. No, no, stupid god. Keep coming. No, but sono. Oh, no, no. The city is built on the bones of the great ones. When the last of the hyphen is gone, darkness will fall. The abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the great sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets. Can you hear them too, crying out in the dark? The fingers of the city, 
They devised new ways to detain the elements. Not so long ago, Dunwall was a proud city. Is it the moment of the harvest? Time has lost all meaning. How can it be that I know such things? Listen, I can hear every thought. There is nothing common about the work she does every day. Now the littlest one is sick. Attention, watchmen. This district is now considered a highly death. infected area. Residents are to be escorted to a dangerous age ending. Or delivered for immediate they deportation to the flooded district. The Remain in position DCS until qualified personnel city. have completed the removal of infected bodies. Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. I'm only out because I was helping an older acquaintance get home. Some strangers gave us directions and fed us earlier. People are good at their center. No! Fine, I was killing a rat. Wanted for the most heinous murder of our fair Empress Jessamine Caldwin Corvo Atano, still at large. 30,000 coins, damn. Along with the Empress, she was a wow. I need you to turn around. Please. Okay. One, two, three, heave! The river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. I will be glad to rest. At the academy, they cut up the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. One, two, three, heave! Okay, so these are definitely overseers. One, two, three. Coming. One, two, three, heave. Pickpocket items worth a total of two hundred coins. One, two, three, heave. <laughs> Stay hidden forever. I mean, I could call out if you see him. Half the block dead from the plague. Better them than oh, us. god, mistakes. Some of them have money. Got 
Yeah, this this is this is going according to plan. It's fine. Can I just like crawl under that? No. Can I blip through there? Blink through there? No. Okay. Well. Yes, yes, yes. Why am I so cold? Oh, I bet I have to use possession to get the send the rat in, or something. Ugh. Okay. Alright. The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, nice. Oh, that stupid gut. Nothing somehow. Oh, you got it. Got someone skulking around. Remind me what buttons I push because I don't want to push the not push, but uh, 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 health potion. Okay. We know you're here, and we'll find you. I'll find you, you hagfish. Help me look for him. Little rat. I'll flush you out. He's here! Assassin, help! Take it! Where'd he fucking go? There he is. You won't stay hidden for long. This is going well, it's fine. I'll find you. Did I chase that lady away? I chased that lady away. No. No. Uh, let's re last quick save. No. <laughs> I didn't want that lady to run away. I didn't want. The doom of
Okay, so I can't mess with them yet. I mean, I could, but it would go bad. So we'll just ignore them. There's no point in going over there anyway, because that bone charm I can't get yet. So, let's see, where's the next one? 48 meters to that one. 89 there. 141. Okay. Survivor, okay. I think my wife and I will be able to ride this thing out. The plague has to pass eventually. In theory, you look like somebody important, or, or it becomes endemic. I've got no beef with you. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Okay, so this is another way I could have gone. Okay, we are here. We came in down here, came up the steps to look at the myth. Okay, that's where the bone charm is. Holger Square. The Golden Cat sounds like a fun place I want to dip my head into. Uh, Old Dunwall Distillery and Clavering Boulevard. Okay. Try to pass me by. All the others down with the sickness. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't help you. Some folks needed the food I had, and I gave it away. Can you believe it? The city watch actually protected me from some of that Bottle Street gang. Half the city's dead. Won't we'll make it three more months. It rained hard yesterday. Felt like it was washing some of the bad away. Doria Street, so that must be Gran that must be the granny that we were told about up here. Can't go that way. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. I will be glad to rest. Long ago, Granny Rags danced to the court. Then Granny, 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 come out with me instead. In her mind's eye, she is fancy trim in velvet. Fresh and young. On her way to an evening of romance. Careful. She, she treads with purpose. And is not as frail as she seems. 
the children sometimes circle Granny Rags, following along oh, no, to no, that's not a nice thing. Just she has given herself garbage, garbage only to the outside. Oh. Long ago, Granny Rags danced into court. Men begged to marry her. I think the little birdies are sad. You sleep darts. Cool. seen anything else to loot. <clears throat> oh, wrong button. Damn it. I'm used to that being walked. I think the little birdies are soft today. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdie. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I might, yeah. Are they gone yet? Mmm, if I was a birdie, I'd want to eat that. Yes, I would. Overseers. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get her to I'm dry as an overseer's brain. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just bottle street rules. Hey, you! Come over here. There is no me. Okay, just a Keep matter of time. Oh, why did I do that? I have. Did it auto save, please? It did. How long ago was that? Not long. Are they gone yet? All right. I want to try walk. I want to try talking to them. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. Yes, I would. We're here. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Come on, let's get it. Gonna feed you okay. So no, they don't. They we can't talk. We can't just convince them to go away. Fine. Fine. And I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. All right. 
Make sure I'm actually on my sleep start. I am. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here All to right. do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. What? Wake up! Oh, I'll find you. Hey, wake up! Send us food, not bullets. Aw. Think something Palestine. There, they're just having a nap. It's fine, they're sleeping it off. Birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm Moi? giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I'll wait until you've seen your present. Okay, hold on. I need to, uh, brightness. That's it. Right. Let's pick that up a bit. That should help. Oh wow! Now everything is really white looking. Hold on. Way too high. Uh, way too high. Way too high. Uh, brightness. The knives go on. Hmm. There. There we go. That's better. You never listen. That's what you guys can actually frickin' see. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's turn that off. Um, actually, no, then. No, we'll leave them all on. But they're shy. You'll hold on. Yeah. You have to go, or they won't come. Yeah, it's nice. 
Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Okay, so I now have three runes, which means I can upgrade my dark vision. No, I should get the possession. Uh, because it could, allowed me to control an animal for... A short duration yeah I should get that before upgrading what I have because I think this will be a bit more useful especially to get that one bone charm uh, so let's get that physically merge with an animal's body for a limited time So my host can't die because then I will die. Small animals can't survive the possession process. So I'd be killing uh um fuck what's it called? Rats. Fanny has work to do. Shut the door. No peeking. Here, birdies. Sweet birdies. Where did my birdies go? Maybe they should pay a visit to those young men. Wouldn't that be a surprise? Oh! There you are! Were you worried about your granny? Hungry chicks, aren't you? Don't eat too much. There will be all kinds of treats later. Don't you worry. Somewhere Indiana Jones is crying. So her birdies are rats. Not fully surprised. All right. Let us try this. the gills off they go
Death in the month of song. Excerpt from a longer work translated from old Sir Conan. <clears throat> she was shy in the month of hearths, hiding from the scented from my scented letters, a sun dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Cuyero or Culero, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on the distant lips. Okay then. Oh, Darren and Gwen. Oh, buddy. Oh, I could have. There was a chain that I could have used. So I could have swum, swum, swam, swim, swum, swum. Okay, well, that's good to know for future playthroughs. Oh, well. I see a shiny. All right. Dr. Galvani's offices. There's a bone charm there. Rune. Oh, let me see what that bone charm got and that I got just got was. Okay. Interesting. All right. Dunwall Distillery. Let me check my objectives. Um, uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, no, let's stay on Bottle Street. Trapped! 
Don't make me take that away from you. Hey, you in the mask. You look like a clown. I'm trapped. What are you looking at? Don't make me take that away from you. <laughs> Take a nap. Oh, it's a privy. It's wonderful. <coughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Anyone there? Let me out! Give me a minute. I'll be with you in a second, sir. Just have some trash to put away. Anyone there? Let me out. The Academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. Okay, actually, I have to pee, so I'll be right back. We're back. Okay. Talk Anyone to you. There? there we go. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday money. the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. He was, he was in prison, prison for five, five years, then changed, changed his name, name to Griff. Griff. No, no one suspects. In, in troubled, troubled times, Fortune often favors those such as he. Riff. The annoying thing is, the voice was right. Troubled times often do favor the likes of he. Oh. Hello. Ooh, phone charm. Hell yeah. Welcoming hosts. You can possess white rats for longer. Ooh, I might like that. Hmm. What do I have? Damage from explosions reduced slightly. I'll swap that out. Hmm. Okay. Excerpt from a book on sailing traditions in Scrimshaw. Bones char bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back, passed from father to son, old man Salt 
to Greenhorn, still getting his sea legs beneath him. In the old times, men cut into the tusks of seal of ice seals and into the long, uh, to the arm long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tivia. Once the whale trade began, the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor or, get, or defense against pregnancy. I mean, I mean, bear. When you don't have science as advanced as, advanced as you know it should be, you do what you gotta do, you know? Good old corpse. Any other ways out? No? Okay. Yet another corpse. Okay, there's a rune at 100 meters. Galvani's offices are up there. Wall of light. Dunnel whiskey. Alright. Alright. Griff's Curio Shop. Oh, it's up here. It's just right up here. Got it. Hey, man. How? Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Sure. Uh, Sokolov's elixir. I'm good on it. I'm guard bullets. I'm good without those. Lens magnification. <coughs> and Sokolov's formula. Hell yeah. Uh, sleep darts. I'm. Oh, I should buy some of those actually. Yeah, we'll buy a couple of those. <coughs> Art dealer's apartment. Okay. Okay. Now I could blink my way up there. Wait a second. Speaking of blank, hold on. I'm seeing pathways. Nope. Oh, damn it. There we go. Now, I like blink, but like. If I don't have to use my magic powers, I won't, you know? Okay, so there's a rune there. Wow, you died in an uncomfortable position. Tapper's Tale, Volume 1. I think we read this one. Yeah, it looks familiar. Oh. Other's Journal. Eighth entry. It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick and so are the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune, since it has fallen on me to take care of them. Ninth entry. City watch comes and goes, knocking on doors, asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier, it was difficult to keep the children qui quiet. Keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. Tenth entry. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting so. Most of the time, Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Eleventh entry. Morris is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all the, my hope is reserved for the children leaving the flat for a while near dawn. I found some plague bags from a guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Twelfth entry. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Missing page. Seventeenth entry. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was, su uh, she was such a headstrong girl. 
I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as I cut up hagfish and vegetables, arguing with me about everything. 18th century. It is the fourth of the day, a fourth day of the month of wind. It has settled in that they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. I have the fever now. No guards come near me. They come near anymore. Press. Not sure what's over there yet, so I'm not gonna worry about it much. Not yet, at least. There's Dr. Galvani's office. There's that wall of lights. Whale oil. see three guards one two and then the third one over there and then that's not counting those hmm. let's go explore past griffs for a minute there you go Interesting. Okay. Come on. Bruh. There you go. Timeless children's rhymes. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was a brawler his mates called Smiley. He ran around up and down town, pulling off every kind of crimey. On, Bo on Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing bri bricks and bottles and other toys. They'd start a fight, then run and hide, breaking laughing far and wide. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off a-sleeping. Sitting on the bridge along John Clavering. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolf hound. He'd become a blue jawed hagfish, most slimy, and only remembered his name was Smiley. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was never seen again for all of timey. But he swam around, up and down, drinking from the river, crying, why me? Well. Everything in this, in this game is full of good feelings. 
Uh, hi, Dead Craw. Why did you send that? Let's just get rid of that message. All right. Okay, there are people downstairs. Wrong button. Uh, mission clues. Griff self scavenged items on Blood Ox Way. Uh, has a bootleg elixir still inside the Dunwall, old Dunwall Whiskey Distillery. Creating their own version of Sokolov's health elixir and selling it. Okay. Ah, there's a safe. Hmm. We'll need to keep an eye out for that combination. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. I mean, fair, all those right, are... All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <laughs> Says almost every woman ever. Nice. Alright, so we'll leave them to that. I don't want to kill them because they're engaged, you know. Be, be reasons as they may, you know. 
I would prefer. Oh, it's gonna break if I hit it. But I want that. Maybe not. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her to us. What will I do now? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Yeah, we're just gonna take you briefly over here and lay you next to the fireplace. You're fine. Go to sleep. Okay, now, is he still up here? No. Okay. Well, then I'm... Oh, that's a lot of rats. Uh, then I am going to do this. Anything? Nope. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, wrong button. What's that? Hold on. What is that? It's like just a glass bottle. Get off the coat. Yeah, empty bottle. Okay. Alright. I need to get this safe code. Combination, that's the word. All right. Let's just pop that shut. What's in here? Ooh, green. Okay. Galvani's journal. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month. Ah, hold on. The month of high cold is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian red. Starts, I'll take those. All right, I don't see anything else. Doesn't mean it's not here. Sure nobody's come downstairs. Okay. Yeah, nice. Alright, now this room takes me back that way. Alright. Oh, what's that? The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ships spawned in the Sarconan ar archipelago, or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs, welcoming those who would visit the far continent, as it's called. Sickness and fi infighting. Poison, uh, poisoned by a school, or would someone say a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking 
any they touched with toxic quills. quills. Two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. The quiet Tivian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. You have crossed the ocean, and the distance to Pandicia is either greater than most would imagine, more is, is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now, with but a handful, I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apoplexy apoplectic outrage when handled so it falls on me to lead them all right <clears throat> Okay, there are like three people downstairs and only one upstairs. So let's go upstairs first. gonna carry him down so that he can cuddle with uh, his fiance. When cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder, or the remainder next week, of course. Latest case should arrive within a week, containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy, a fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastard. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a, with a crowd of eager students taking notes. Not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need. But rem remember, it might be a month before I can put it, uh, put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore, Procurement Clerk and Provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy, South Wing. 
P.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go here. We've got quite the stock of Tivian and Brandy. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence. Although the experiments there are not complete, Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Rat behavior and extermination. Uh, I'm not going to read that full thing, but it's there if you want to read it on your own. Um, what about this? Uh, okay, so they think that the rat plague might, the rats might have been, uh, yeah, transported in seed it in somehow. Leviathan Sorrow. Okay. Let's close that for him. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every it's been every year that we work uh like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works that the works is clogged with trash from the catch. Um okay, it's an excerpt of an interview attached to a formal report by City Works crew. Okay. shut.
Now I could just leave, but I really want to figure out that fucking uh, safe combination. Wait a second, hold on. Uh, Here we go. 728 or 287. That's the day of the month that he the month and day that he met Sokolov. Let's try it. Puddle, puddle. Under the stairs. Log is in pairs, rats uninterested. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Incident with previous maidservant will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. Customs and food of Morley. Um, okay.
Yeah, I don't need a Piero's help uh, elixir that badly. So we're just gonna not worry about it. Two thousand coins for slack job. Push off. The third stricture: restrict the restless hands, which quickly becomes the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sordid gain. Basically, idle hands are the devil's playthings. Okay. Give me the door. There you go. Except from a government protocol on disease practices. Uh, nope, okay. Don't need those either, okay. Well. All right. Door. Close this door too. Not a door here. There's not a door here. All right. Bread. Ooh. All right. All right. Let's go to the third floor and out that door. Because I came in this the second floor door. So let's go to the third floor. Oh, uh, let's close the. There we go. All right. Hey, can I buy your ration of elixir from today? Pull off. So now, Granny Hags wants me to put it and put this shit in the, uh, in the distillery. Come on. Around the corner. There you go. Into the distillery we go. Hatters fired the first shot, but Bottle Street Gang fired the last. The room. 
Well, that gave him a leg up for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district with them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. there I wonder what that is don't be sour say when slackjaw coming down not till the next batch of elixirs done he'll want to check on things then you better get all your shit together huh everything's fine I run the <clears> still <throat> like I run a game of Nancy yeah okay Bone charm. Oh, I didn't use this in in uh, Galvani's office. All right, so I should go back and do that. But I kind of tore that place apart. I didn't. I would. I think. I feel like I would have seen one. But oh, I bet there's one in that fucking rat room. Ah, they would do that. Okay. No, oh, this is fine. There is a strong dream made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. The brothels spring out around the distilleries. They are inseparable. Why am I so cold? There is a strong dream made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. The brothels spring out around the distilleries. The fuck are you up there? Blow off, nice. chopper! Nope, he saw me.
Someone's about to get shot. I give up finding that rat bastard. Someone's about to get shot. Run and hide, you coward. What was that? Hold on. Achievements where? After Cold Ridge Prison, elude five pursuers at once without killing them or leaving the map. Come in here? No? Okay. <gasps> Wrong button. Okay. The great, great ships, ships have stopped bringing their hulls. I'm coming tomorrow. Uh, Craxton, I'm coming tomorrow to check on the batch. Make sure you're wearing pants this time and stick to the recipe. One part of Sokolov's elixir, one part beach gum paste, and two parts sugar water. That's it. The more of the real shit you cut in, the less there is to spread around and the less of coin I make. It's saying the charity. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. One, two, three. 
probably more. I know some fuck. But now. Somebody give me a Carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done kind of both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. Um, okay, yeah, I got one. Ready? Listen. There once was a sailor from Orland who fancied a woman most sorely. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no Morley. <laughs> ah, you win. You win. Well, I know a hundred of these old guys. My mummy used to tell them that. Enforce bolts. Bolts stuck in enemy break. Bring enemies break less often. Ooh, okay. Um. Where's the mission? Decaminate what? Oh, the bootleg elixir. Okay.
see what's inside. Okay. Ah, there's the still right there. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hi. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Yep, just gonna... Attach an empty elixir, elixir vial to the spout before you turn the thing on. Turn the valve on. Collect the full vial. Repeat until empty. What the fuck was that? Oh, they had a trap. Fuck me. Okay, this just takes me back to the main body area. Okay. All right, body, yadi, 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 yadi. All right, so I can just. There's probably loot, all kinds of loot over here. Well, let's see. Oh. 
seen widespread looting, widespread looting, amongst clans. Okay. We did the thing relatively well, too. Now, um, I do want to go oh, to stop by. Stop by the doctor, the good doctors again. Um, because I didn't use this while we were in his house. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do 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 what have they done to me? My father had golden hair. My mother hair like ash. This city is built on the bones of the great ones. When the last of the hyphen is gone, darkness will fall. Okay, so she's just saying the same stuff that she's been saying in this city. Or, yeah, so. <clears throat> Alright. Back to Granny's. Oh, I have to put it away. She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the trail, so we sacked her. Hi, Granny. I knew you would disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs. Three out of seven rooms found. All right. Uh, powers. I only have one room. Okay. Do you have anything more for me? That will never wash. Never, never, never. Nope. Okay. I could choke her out, but no. Um. All right. So, what does that leave me with here? Uh, get past the second ball of white of uh, wall of light, Bottle Street alleys to get around the walls of light. I can do that. Uh, locate Emily. Um. Okay, we still not encountered Captain Kernow yet. Okay.
Oh, let's go talk to Griff. You have anything more for me, Griff? Mm, no, I'm good on sleep darts. I'm good on those too. All right. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. That's a lot of fucking rats. That's a lot of fucking rats. Okay. I'm still in the first, I'm still in the first area. But that is another one. Hold on. Oh wait, what's here? Cold as a whaler's calf hand. Oh, looky here. Come on, let's get Ed. Cold as a whaler's calf hand. Fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like 25 to me. Look here. It's 20. Five each, counting through. So you want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me kid. You think you can cheat me?
gotcha. Somebody, give me a hand. This is gonna hurt. Let's get on with it, rat face. Somebody, get over here. Okay, fine. Oh, you bitch. The river after I cut you. Wrong button. Come here. Would you stop? You fight for shit. Cold as a whaler's gaff hand. Fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Looks like 25 to me. Look here. It's 20. It's five each, counting blue. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me kid. You think you can cheat me? Come on! Get this I'm gonna lose your corpse! I'm gonna dump you down! As a whaler's gaff hand, fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like twenty-five to me. Look here. It's twenty. It's five each, counting blue. You want me to check your pocket? Let it go, kid. Don't call me kid. You think Don't you can call cheat me, me, kid? Get over here! I'm gonna loot your Let's see what's inside. That's the end of you. What a waste. Fuck me. Cut. Can't win no matter what I choose. I just got I guess I just have to let them play about now. their business. Years old at least. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering. Alright, rune right there. Oh shit. Hi guys. Let's just uh, pick that up. Confiscated rune, Corporal Meadows. We found this strange rune on, a rune on the woman who used to sell pastries up the street. Not sure how she died, but once, but since this thing looks superstitious, we set it aside for the overseers. After your shift is over, take it to them for disposal or whatever they do with them. Don't forget. Well, it's mine now. And I believe I have two out of three runes now. So I can, ooh, I could upgrade my dark vision finally. Um, unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Well, considering I'm not planning on killing anything. Uh, come on, there we go. Uh, do this one. There we go. So 
what's my next objective? Captain Kur Kurnow, primarily. On? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Fuck. The Golden Cat. Opening soon, but probably closed. Because of everything. Captain's chair. Hotel. Bug someone else. Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? That's not so bad, is it? Except I miss your wife. Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. That'll change. <laughs> Yeah. 
What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. <coughs> By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. I like his snark. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outside of space. But the you never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging Do over. Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's crimes weigh heavy on his spirit. He has been a soldier. Nothing will make me happier than joining you and the others, especially if they've tapped some of the finer kegs still left at the pub. He wonders which is more powerful: the knife. Or the, or the tongue. He the always has his sights set on right. the Abbey's highest office. There are few brave enough to, to laugh in the outsider's face. Outsider's eyes. These things chafe. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily, so kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all Sounds the good. spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Ooh, I like that. Well. <clears throat> we have a decent bit before us. <clears throat> You know what I just realized? Hold on, I need to check something before we move on. I just realized I may not have gotten all the stuff because I wasn't paying attention there towards the end. Let us check. Okay, I genuinely don't see any more except for what's in there. So, yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> anyway, as I was starting to say, uh, we'll pick up there uh, next time. Uh, it's because it's 10 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for spending time with me as I continue our journey into this game. Um, before we head out, I just want to quickly remind you all to check out the link tree. In that link tree, there are a bunch of, uh, recommendations of other streamers you can check out. Um, there's also links to my socials, my Discord, my, uh, YouTube. Uh, well, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, comment, all that stuff help with the, it helps with the algorithm. Um, there's also links to my Twitch in that link tree. If you want to watch me live, um, there's also a link to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, a place where you can support me and my content without having to go through, you know, without, if you want, you know, if you want. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, that's it from uh, from me for the night. Actually, that's it from me for the week. We'll be back on Monday with more uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And so until un unless something happens, I'll let you know through the, the usual methods. But uh, yeah, that's it from me for the night um, and the week. Um, so yeah, we'll be back Monday. And until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.